Excited about your new uh, CNC machine? I'm excited to get it. I don't know if it's going to work with the broken arm, but we are going to have power and you do know how to run one, right, Joe? Sure. I'm going to press some buttons and see what happens. Yeah, so, okay, that's what I wanted yeah. to hear, man. Like that guy's going to stop 8,000 pounds from falling over by himself. <laughs> Maybe Alan could, but not this guy. Me, I'm just going to keep it safe. It's a concentrate, right? It dilutes. That's, well, that's what the guys were telling me at Cypress that you buy it in a concentrated form, you dilute it with water. Not that I know of. By the way, Mitch, you know how you keep saying we? We need to buy? <laughs> I heard we. Video taping me? Yes. Video taping the whole thing. He measured it and it's square now and Joe's lines are two, way you got, off. You got two pieces of tape going into each other like I that. I know, I mean didn't didn't Joe measure five times, cut once? I don't get it. They love me. Got something right, so here we are with the guys. They're firing up the CNC machine for the first time here at Bloodshed Motors. And as you can see, I can already tell you that an investment in a larger work table is going to be a necessity. Make that fix. So what they're doing is Alan is getting ready to make a part for the 70Z28. And this piece of stock is the first piece we're going to cut and actually use here in the shop. So the damage to the machine and transport has been repaired. Alan and the guys cut some new pipe and as you can see up here if I zoom in on this that's a new piece where the uh, entire boom was broken off here in transport but it's all fixed and you can see in the back of the control box here they're still straightening out some of the switches that got knocked loose and whatnot but it's fully functional so we're ready to give it a run. So this will be the first small test job, and then after that will become the batteries for the 66 Mustang convertible, all the cases that are going to have water-cooled channels in them and everything, so. Look at this thing go, man. Breaking parts. In the blood chip motor. First part made by our CNC machine. That's the truth. It's an antique, it's an oldie but a goodie. Alan, right here. Come on, man. Come what? on. You're talking about this hitting the so sewer hitting Alan has no faith. You ain't gonna hit it. Come on, Chris, man. Chris, he has no faith in your skills, what? man. <laughs> no. All right. I see a wager. Come on, put some money on it, gentlemen. Come on. Put a little money on it. Alan, you got some money you want to put on it? It might hit. I don't know. Let me get to where I can look over his shoulder here. It makes a squeaky noise. You have to do all that while you're in a panic mode, screaming. You gotta figure no, out that code. The e stop button if you're in a panic mode. And it's just gonna fall through into the big red one. <laughs> the big red button. You gotta buy it. You got to get the big red button. I've been trying to find it. I don't think that not What, the big red button doesn't work? I know, it just pushes the whole thing into the. You have to do it softly. You can't do it in I don't think in a panic I'm gonna wanna softly touch the red button. In a panic, go to the disconnect.
Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. He got you thinking so I'm much you had to double check it. Yeah, but it's going to be all the way down. See? Now, this is good as a mile, baby. Yeah, that, dude, that dude. Was how far, how far but, past did we but get? But Alan. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying. Nice. <laughs> I'm just saying, Alan induced enough doubt that Chris, but Chris had to double check himself. He got doubt in your mind. And here is the part that was made, installed. It's this plate with the adapters. So it's an adapter plate for the motor mount for this 1970 Camaro with an LT4 GM crate motor for a 2016 Z06 Corvette. Yeah, baby. Anyway, there you go.